My Hero Academia review. It's no secret that I absolutely loved this show. Um, it is a niche type of show, I suppose. Um, if you like superheroes or superpowers, people using those superpowers to fight enemies, then you don't have to watch any other show. This is, uh, it was perfect for me. I loved it. Because um, not only did it have that superhero feel, that overt superhero feel, but it also had a subvert heist feel to it, where you have to recruit all the guys for the heist. You have to get everyone together, and you have to use your superpowers to do stuff. Even though they weren't doing a heist, by any stretch of the imagination. A bunch of kids come together, and they go to hero school. Um, it reminded me a lot of a, an old movie, I think it's got to be at least 10 years old at this point, called Sky High, where the kids go to superhero school, and they learn how to be superheroes. And when that movie came out, I watched it, and I just, I loved it so much, and I wished that there were more movies, but there weren't. There weren't any more movies, and I was very disappointed about that, so this, this show brought up the nostalgic feeling of those superhero, of that superhero movie, and also kind of just with all superhero stuff. I'm a big fan of superheroes in general. I love magic powers, and um, I love when people fight each other with those magic powers. And this was, this was a really good show, because not only was it perfect for me, but it also had this excellent message that um, in spite of what you are or who you are or what you are not, um, the most important thing in life is passion. So the, the important thing that is constantly conveyed that regardless of how strong the characters are, the ones with the most passion are the ones who are succeeding. And that's a good message. I enjoyed that message. That message aside, I still love the show. <laughs> in general, the art is very clean. The animation is very clean. Uh, the, the backgrounds, the characters, the scenery, the characters are rich, everything looks very good, everything looks very high quality. My biggest complaint about this show really is that it was just too short. It uh, disappointed me of how short it was because I could have watched it for eight seasons and been perfectly happy. Um, because there's this whole classroom of kids with interesting powers and inter interesting abilities that you want to learn more about. In addition to the main character being a spunky, fun, eccentric main character. You also had his rival, you had his love interest, you had his friend, and then you have like 20 other kids in the class who are, who are very compelling and very interesting too. And the thing I liked is that the story remained focused on our, focused on our main kid instead of on the interesting powers of the people around it, around him rather where, yes, we do want to know more about those kids, but it is also stressed to us that those kids are not as important as our main kid or the, the small circle around our main kid. It was great having that cast of characters, and when one of them would have a chance to shine, and they'd, they'd tell us, like, oh, this is what their power is, this is that and, this, that, and the other thing about that person, that would be fun. And that was an exciting moment. And the teachers, too. I. I could go on and on and on and on about this show and how much I loved it. Mostly because it was just kind of perfectly tailored for me. Because of the superhero stuff and the heist feeling and the all just the really great characters that surrounded our protagonist that were compelling and interesting but still the tertiary characters and the secondary characters and the main characters. I like it when the show has structure, where the protagonist can be the protagonist and everyone else supports them, but are still interesting and compelling in their own right. Where if they had a spin-off show about each of those kids, it would be very interesting, I think. E each one of them, like you could make 25 versions of this show with the events that happened in this show from the different perspective of different characters, and it would be different show with each of those characters, a different experience, a different set of things happening. And I think it would be, 
I mean, obviously that's not going to happen, but it would be interesting to watch. I think that even if you don't really like superhero shows or superpower shows, then there is still elements, there are still elements in this show that you can enjoy um, and and see the, the human elements, because if you took the superpowers out, then it could really just be about everyday students um, working together and excelling and being in a very wacky school, a bunch of wacky teachers and wacky classmates, but I think it does have a human element of it that is is very good and important for a show that is about uh, fantastical things. I hear there is a season two in the works, and when that season two starts, I will be right here watching episode one and, um, and watching all the way through uh, until it ends, because the only thing I want from it is more. That's all. My recommendation is to watch My Hero Academia. You won't be... You won't be bored by it, that's for sure. And um, if you're like me, if you have any of the same interests as me, then you're gonna love it. I will see you next time for Season 2 of My Hero Academia, and also for whatever show I end up watching next. Bye!